Hi, Eric here from Laser Scanning TV. This is the July uh, episode and we have uh, cool stuff here. A new hardware is coming up from a big player. We have software and workflows. And if you are interested to the coolest stuff from the market, stay tuned. Yeah, we have July, the uh, sun is in my window. I was thinking maybe nothing new. Everybody is on the beach, have cool drink there and enjoy the sun. But not the guys from Trimble because they announced a new drastical laser scanner, what is like our core business here. And they announced a new system like the Trimble X X12. And I found them here, the newest information, I think is going out yesterday or the day before. Also very new stuff, cool stuff what I'm showing you. And here we have the new scanner, the Trimble X12. The main fact what you have to know is they say that they have a 2.2 million points per second measurement speed what is um, very fast. It's like all the other big players on the market. Uh, they have also around 2 million points per second. Maybe they have now on paper a little bit more. Then they have um, a maximum range from 265 meters. And they have range noise from 0.2 millimeters and the density from 0.6 on 10 meters. They say that they very quick can make a full dome scan. And they have a minimum range from 0.2 meters, also the closest range to the scanner. That's also very important. And they use these all these the system you can use in this uh, environment from from Trimble. And they have also here a small video. I like to show like this to show it to you. Uh, also you can use this with their Trimble software. Oh, here they have a nice uh, cool uh, digger from Germany. And yeah, you have an integrated display and then you can also use it this form with a touch system. And I don't know, it is uh, once in their uh, Trimble field software. I think they're telling this, that you can start this from their field software and then you can use it this in the Trimble software later. Yeah, that's that's what they're showing here live. I going there here to the data sheet uh, because we are interested on details. And what I tell you is they have this maximum speed from up to 2.187 million points per second. They have a range from 0.3 to 0 365 meters. But they say this is ambiguity interval. This means it's, it's an over measurement. They say the affecting working range is 250 meters. They have an incredibly high Accuracy one millimeter and 10 ppm, and they have a very high range uh, resolution. And they give us some here from scanning parameters, and they call them preview low. Like here, preview scan is like 32 second, second, as is what they are telling us. And then they have speed, and I think the most of them scanning with high or middle or this one. And I was thinking high, middle, and ultra high. This is something what I hear. I think that looks pretty similar. There's this uh, X12 scanner looking very close to this scanner. And this scanner is the ZF Imager 5016A scanner. And I have here the information on my screen. And of course, you know, if I uh, switching here um, from here back to this one, and you will tell me that this scanner looks pretty the same like this scanner. And we can see it here because they have also here uh, the datas and they're telling we have 0.3 to 65 meters in between the interval and they have 2.187 million scanners one under one millimeters. As these are the complete same parameters and I think that's not possible to develop a scanner who is complete the same because I think this is the same scanner by themselves and I think that uh, Trimble have now an OEM scanner from the uh, CELEF scanner and offer this to their clients. And why they do this? Because this I don't know. I, my idea is they have this X7 scanner what one very well on the market from what I heard it and the people are happy with this. But maybe there is some missing functionality in this scanner. If you're looking here in the, da in the data sheet inside i think maybe uh, they have a problem with the maximum range i think this is only 80 meters and now they maybe need a scanner who have a higher range as 80 meters and be also fast they hadn't they had a, a before another scanner would have a higher range this tx8 who can extend it have 340 meters and 120 but i don't think they have the high resolution and they don't have a good camera and this stuff and maybe that's the reason they use now this oem version the x12 on the high end of their product line. Pricing, I don't can tell you something what the price is from the scanner. I know this the ZF scanner is not the 
cheapest scanner on the market. There is more high pricing, but it's a very good scanner. Also you pay more, but you get really a good system. It's maybe for, the people have to decide if they need this or no, but they can choose, they have X7, and if there's not enough, then they can go to the um, X12 scanner. So, back from uh, these terrestrial scanner, now we're going to mobile scanners. And here we have, there's this LiDAR scanning system is used by UK Northern train company. And they have integrated, I think here is a sensor head, because this looks like really many of, this looks like a scanner here and some electronic stuff. Or maybe they have something here, but I don't know. I'm not totally sure. Maybe there's something from the train. Uh, this is the sensor head. Interesting is they have a video what they are doing with this, this one. And that is uh, what I find interesting. They have a permanent scanning of their train and they can detect it if they need some maintenance there. If they have, you look here, they see everything what is in the field. And uh, then they can see if they have fallen branches, vegetation coming too close, if structure damages, they can see if environment things, uh, no, it's uh, maintenance things and energy saving, it's, and they send permanently this data to the operations. Yeah, I think it's very interesting what they are doing, like 365 trains or something, 345, they come, the fleet of them, they won't have it. And then they have a permanent control of their track. I find it interesting how you can use this technology. And then we're going here to the next one. And this is something also mobile coming now from drone market. And they're uh, giving us this for Northern Europe. They give it this, this. They tell us the, in 2020 was the market like 40, 51 million. It's a little bit less as the year before. I think it's COVID. And I think they say that they increase increased then to four, I was around 150 million uh, um, dollars in uh, in in the year of 28. As you have a triple of these actual marking for lidar based on drones, and they tell also why because um, the scanner coming cheaper, the drones are easier to use. They will say it's most copter stuff and less the wing stuff what they're using on the market. And they say also that the solid state lighter types really make the uh, whole process faster because they're bringing uh, technology what you can use for a lower price. Like in DJI drones, actually, you can, they also have it inside. And um, yeah, I think that's uh, here they sell something to the player and they have like Velodyne, it's pretty big. Teledyne, what we have in the house. Then we have Regal and some other stuff, a Phoenix, lighter, Yellow Scan, lighter USA, some of the names, then are also some Chinese companies and not so many German, few German companies on the market. But it's very interesting um, what's uh, going on here in this market overview. As we will see more drones with LiDAR in the future, that is the resume. Then there's another announcement for Magic Leap. This is Magic Leap is a company who is delivering immersive augmented reality platform. They bring data from your uh, from your industry that you can use as live and uh, they are working uh, together now with Nevis and they can use now the Nevis mobile mapping system to have a realistic scan of your industry or a building and then you bring it in this platform you can use this and working with real data as well as the digital twin data that's what they are telling you and then we have here something very interesting I had a um, talk with the CEO of this company Pluraview, and that's from Schneider Digital from Germany, and they have here a very nice video. The interesting part was, I know them over a while, you have these, these two screens, and then with a, with a, with a goggle you can see it in, uh, in 3D. That's they have over a long time, but now they developed with, together with some CAD platforms the option that you not only can look like this guy, he is only looking in the moment, but they have like a 3D mouse that you can really operate there and pick points and do construction. And not all is CAD software supporting it. Uh, you have to check out if your uh, software is doing it. Uh, in viewer mode is okay, but for construction mode, we have to, as you have to check out their website. I, I think Rhino, they call him this Rhino is working. They can do it with Rhino. And uh, I think they show it here on the end. Um, but it's very interesting. Maybe in the future is this the way 
to model buildings and um, infrastructure, not by modeling on screen, but modeling uh, really in uh, 3D. I find this very interesting, this information. And then to the end, there is something very interesting from the Ukraine, Safe Ukraine Heritage. They have also a video. The, the issue is, everybody know it, there's Russian aggressors and destroys a lot of uh, buildings in the Ukraine, but also heritage building. Maybe, you know, they won't also destroy the whole Ukraine nationality and also maybe their history. And I uh, think these historical buildings are definitely targets for the Russians. And these guys want use the scanning technology and drone technology to, uh, to um, capture these existing buildings. Oh, I have to make it a little bit and cut off the noise. And have it 3D that in the case there's some rocket or artillery hit this building that they have a digital copy uh, from this. I find this very good. Um, you can support these, um, these um, what do you call them, this project. And I think there are some supporters here. We have here Capturing Reality, we have ScanZap, we have Leica Geo system, and also interesting, we have Arctic 3D, because Arctic 3D origin, origin is found by Russian guys, as you see also, not every Russian, it's friend of Putin. Uh, I think there's also some there are uh, more on the, the side of uh, the rest of the world. And you see, actually they have, they're starting in March, and actually they have captured 18 buildings, and who is interesting, you can check out the website. The name is Skyrion. .ua. Uh, maybe you can put a link inside and then you can check out this website. Okay, that's for all for July. Um, all my information, cool stuff here. And I think we see us in end of next month with other news from the market. Bye bye, Eric.